Yeah, that works. <laughs>here first because I wouldn't have been able to get this sidewall carpeting out if I didn't. So this is one kind of continuous piece. This honestly they're just clips so a lot of this stuff around here you you just gotta yank it. You just gotta put some muscle into it like that. start on this piece and I'm gonna start with the screws see if there's somehow I can avoid taking this off but I don't think there is so from 1984 so there's a chance that the first person that ever owned this car owned this penny I found another penny this is 
was the bad area. So move into the front, but first I'm gonna start by taking all this stuff off. This is screwed through and whole top mat up here. So I basically am just having to take everything up here off, but that's fine. Because I don't need it anyway. So it works out. Yeah, that works. Totally did not mean to just pull all of it down. Actually, I totally did. <laughs> Found more screws, that's what I was looking for. Awesome. Most of the car is done except for the front half, which is gonna be more time consuming. Just I'm gonna have to remove the seats. I do think I might actually have to remove the whole dash as well just to get to the rest of the carpeting that's under the car. This is just about half of what came out of the car. Weight reduction, people. Weight reduction. start getting all this stuff out. basically done yeah I mean that's pretty awesome I never done this before and it was not as bad as I feared it was going to be all right so really the only other two main things that I did here was remove the dash support bar and take out the sunroof so both of those took quite a while you just have to keep searching and searching for any screws and bolts they are everywhere and eventually stuff will come out <laughs> Drop it. Yeah. 